<clears throat> Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And, uh, you know, I guess the best way to title this broadcast here is Russia is just not good at propaganda. But the West certainly has convinced everyone that Russia is the bad guy, that Russia is uh, bombing, their, bombing the Ukrainian people, they're killing the civilians, using them as human shields. And, uh, uh, and, and the Ukrainian army is just fighting for survival. You know, they don't like it if you even remotely hint at liberation. And I don't even know if uh, all the people of Ukraine would consider it liberation, but nonetheless, I think it's high time you realize exactly what type of neo-Nazis the Azov uh, Ukrainian military really is. And hear it in the people's own words, the Ukrainian people and what they're suffering, what they're going through. Let's look at this right here. This here was sent to me, or actually I found this one here over on VK, but I'm going to share with you also some things that were sent to me from Ukrainian people of what's happening to them in Ukraine. Uh, by the way, let me also advise you, some of the images are disturbing that you'll see uh, in these uh, in some of the clips we're going to be looking at here. So please be aware of that beforehand. They asked, the, how did you leave? Unclear. Russian army? Thank you very much. We hate Ukraine. Why do they hate Ukraine? Did the Ukrainian army help you? Ukrainian army was shooting at us. Shooting at people. Right at our house. Are you happy that you managed, uh, I, think, I think it said managed to, yeah, managed to leave? Of course. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We have been sitting in the basement with children since the 26th of February. Since the 26th. Three hundred people were hiding in the basement floor. That's in one house alone. Why didn't you leave earlier? No one allowed us to leave. They didn't give green corridors. Ukraine didn't let uh, let to leave the city. We were blocked. Who didn't allow them to leave the city? Ukrainian military. The military, Ukrainian, arrived and said, under any circumstances, do not leave the city. If the Russian Federation opens a green corridor for you, don't leave. If the Russians open a corridor, you don't leave. Why? They wanted to continue using us as a human shield. Where did you arrive from? From Maripol. Well, that's going back to the beginning of it. And that's that one there. Let me play this one for you. This one you'll actually get, uh, you'll be able to hear it in English. All right, make sure you get the mic close so you can hear this well. We opened our eyes sitting in the basement of Terrasport. We were told that the Russian military had entered the city and that the city was being mopped up. We had to get out, go to Port City. Those who had cars left, and we had to walk with small children. The cars that rode by were empty, but they didn't take us, because everyone was scared. There were no houses along the way, everything was on fire. The corpses of civilians and soldiers were everywhere. The children were crying. We walked under the bullets, barely made it to the buses. On the way, the Russian military gave the children sweets and food. All this time, the Azov militants hid behind us, like behind a living wall. We were not allowed to go outside. We were kept in the basement for 15 days. They didn't give us any water. The children were screaming. There was nothing. Ukrainian militants just came, put tanks in front of the bomb shelters. We ran away so that we would not be shot at. Retreating, they bombed the bomb shelter in the drama theater, and people, including those wounded by shrapnel, were brought to us. We were all gathered like a herd. Only today, the Green Corridor was given. We were told that Russian soldiers were shooting people. When our children were leaving, everyone was hysterical. Everyone was crying when they saw the Russian military, simply because they got used to ours, how our Ukrainian troops treated them. 
You go into the store, you stand in line, they come drunk with machine guns, they push you and make you say, glory to the heroes. That's how we lived all this time. Wow. So they live in fear and terror is what happens. And are used as human shields. This is the way the Ukrainian military has treated their own people. Uh, worse yet, as you can see right here, and I've got other images of this as well, uh, this is the way the Ukrainians treat you if you speak Russian. They duct tape you to a pole. They paint your face green uh, if you speak Russian. You know, by uh, one of, one of, a good friend of mine, uh, who actually has a business in Ukraine, said to me that the Ukrainian government had outlawed the use of, this, of the Russian language in Ukraine. You'd go to prison if you were caught speaking Russian. So it's no wonder that they do this to the people of eastern Ukraine who are ethnically Russians who have grown up speaking Russian their entire life. And so they abuse them. And not just them. We'll come back to this one here in just a moment. This one here, a child is shrunk wrapped to the pole as well. All because they're Russian speaking Ukrainians. So this is the way Ukraine treats their own. This one here, and of course the women sadly are nude from the waist down, but they're being beaten because they're Russian speaking Ukrainians. This is the way they're treated in Ukraine. So keep that in mind. When you're listening to Western backed propaganda, and by the way, as I was showing you the little cash here that was laying here, uh, here we have a the suitcase is full of both euros and US dollars at the tune of 28 million dollars and 1.3 million euros out of Ukraine and that was by a um, uh, the wife of a politician the wife of a former Ukrainian parliament wanted to go to Hungary with six suitcases full of cash in her car the border police found more than 28 million in cash and more than 1.3 million in euros in a woman's car in Ukrainian Hungarian border as several Ukrainian media now are, are now reporting. It is said to be uh, Anastasia uh, Kovitskaya. I can't pronounce that name right. Kovitskaya, the wife of former member of parliament, had all that cash on her. Maybe she was going to pay off Hunter Biden, you know, and Joe Biden's son for all the money they owe them on the kickbacks uh, that are going on. That lets you know there's a lot of illegal things going on in Ukraine. And U.S. dollars have been there to back it up all, all along. Uh, Kovitskaya is said to have been a passenger in a Hungarian car with a Hungarian driver. The Ukrainian border guard waved the car through. But their Hungarian colleague stopped and searched it. The woman was questioned on the spot about the origin of the money and forced to declare it properly through custom. Subsequently, criminal proceedings were initiated against them by the Ukrainian authorities. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, they just don't know how she snuck out with all the money. Oh, I'm sure Zelensky wanted to make sure he got his cut. Maybe they knew where it was going. Uh, Kovitsky, who has worked as a businessman, since leaving politics, is considered the right-hand man of longtime Ukrainian Interior Ministry Arsen uh, Avokov, who resigned from this post in 2021 following allegation of corruption, and now is being uh, determined whether uh, Kovitsky and his wife got, uh, you know, or, or determined whether Kovitsky and his wife got so much money legally. Well, I would be wondering about that as well. Huh. There's a lot of money going in and out of Ukraine right now. A lot of big dollars. Just makes you wonder, doesn't it? Anyway, also too, Tim Kirby, uh, Russia, uh, his YouTube channel here, he interviewed Alina Lip. I want to play a clip for you from her. She is a German girl. Uh, her father is Russian. Her mother is German. But she has also been covering the 
uh, war going on in Ukraine. And she had this to say here, and I think it is very much worth listening to. We'd love to get Alina on our program sometime to discuss uh, the documentary that she is making from Donetsk. Propaganda. <laughs> I know this is kind of a big question, but if you could, could you tell the audience what is really happening behind the lines in the Donbass? Really going on there, what nobody knows in the West because nobody is showing them, is that uh, this is not um, evil separatists living in Donbass. This is normal people who have normal lives, family, children, and every day Ukraine is fighting with them, is um, attacking them every day. I was even uh, I even woke up in the nights because there was a bomb going going up somewhere near the front, and um, every day you are reading that even children um, are dying from them, and it's always the Ukrainian side who was starting this attacks. It's never uh, the the Donbas guys. I I've been to the front. I've seen everything. I talked to uh, the soldiers. I know what is going on, and I. I really can say it's not evil separatists. This is only people who, um, uh, well, this is the main. We'll kind of pause it right there. I'll include the link there uh, to the channel there for uh, Tim uh, Kirby Russia. And uh, we'll try to reach out to uh, uh, Russell Bentley, uh, I think, uh, because I believe Alina Lip knows Russell Bentley as well. Perhaps we could get her on our program sometime. Anyway, oh, by the way, we're, we're you're watching us right here from uh, from our channel, Stephen Benoon. Uh, we only got about 4,000 subscribers there. This is where we publish uh, after we've been over on Patreon. Uh, from time to time, we'll release the videos here on Stephen Benoon. So uh, it might be something you might want to check out. Uh, in fact, let me just see. I'll just quickly so you can see the actual page of that. Uh, and uh, so you know Good where afternoon. that's at. There we go, right there. Stephen Benoon, just under my actual name there. Yeah, four, four and a half, four point four thousand subscribers there. And we have just released a couple of our Patreon videos on there just recently. There, Planet Nine entering the solar system, cube-shaped spacecraft. Uh, will Planet X stop global travel? Those are some of the latest ones we've released over there that were over on our Patreon channel. At any rate, we thank you for listening and blessings to you. Uh, got a lot going on, a lot on my mind that I want to share with you. We just released a new video over on Patreon as well. So Patreon forward slash Israeli News Live. I'll try to link, leave a link for you there in the description below. Thank you and God bless you.